the Elven Entanglement Epilogue. When Iridus said the woods were dangerous, you weren't expecting to be attacked by the vegetation itself. Roots and vines lashed out to trip you up and entangle your limbs. Several times you were driven out of the woods completely by fiendish trees, carnivorous stumps, and swarms of vesasaurs. Tiny winged demons resembling armored insects with sharp teeth. You would have given up on the adventure entirely were it not for the encouragement of the forest's small enclave of elves and a mysterious satyr named Vince, who appeared whenever you defeated a fiendish tree. The satyr had the ability to soothe the wild plant life, and he bounced off into the woods with nary a word once his task was complete. You only learned his name from the elves you encountered. Eventually you discovered the source of the woods' torment, a demon named Frizzals was warping the land into something more to his liking. The demon admitted to tearing apart a party of black road mages, but lamented that a female carrying a large book escaped with a teleportation spell. The demon had no qualms about sharing this information with you because he didn't expect you to survive the encounter. You proved Frizzals wrong. Back in Canabres, you met with a contingent of people, a portly nobleman named Horgus Grimm, was the first to greet you. Seeing your battered armour, torn clothes and begraggled appearance, he remarked, Doesn't that half-orc teach you how to fight? You need to do better if we're going to win this war. Let me show you a move I once saw a monk perform. It works every time. Horgus proceeded to pantomime a staff strike between the legs, followed by a staff blow to the head and a jab to the abdomen. You were about to remark that move was useless against living trees when you observed Avena over his shoulders in the distance, rubbing her index and middle fingers together against her thumb in the universal sign for money. Nodding in agreement with Avena's nonverbal message, you promised the patron Horgus that you'd do better next time. Horgus clapped you heartily on the shoulder. I'm sure you will, soldier. Make sure you stop at Bellus Lomas's tailor shop to get your clothing repaired. Tell her I sent you. She'll know where to send the bill. Horgus then left to inspect another group of soldiers returning from the field. Avina and Iridef moved in swiftly to confer with you. Did you find the lexon of paradox? Iribeth asked. No, you answered. A toad demon named Frizzal encountered a group of Blackfire adepts, but the female mage carrying the lexicon escaped with a teleportation spell. Avina drew her breath in sharply. She must have been desperate, stupid, or even in the region. Most Vendivian spellcasters know that regular teleportation spells don't work well within the world wound. Dimension Gate or Greater Teleportation is more reliable. It's unfortunate you weren't able to find the Lexicon, Iridus said. Still, it was a worthy effort and won't go unnoticed. You're part of the last patrol to report in. With no more leads in this matter, Command will likely reassign the investigation and recovery of the Lexicon of Paradox to another unit more experienced with artifact recovery. Don't despair. There's never a shortage of assignments. I suggest you take Horgus up on his generous offer and get your uniform repaired. Your appearance right now is frightful. With Frizzal defeated, and with the assistance of any surviving elves, especially Celia, one of the Uprooter's best rangers, you have little difficulty escaping Tangle Bear and reuniting with the Uprooters at Mount Ayima. Another group of elves arrive soon after to receive a report of your success and escort the victorious outsiders safely out of Koyan. Waiting for you at the border is a messenger who informs you of General Tassini's appreciation of your service and the promise of elven allies at a time and place to be named by the Pathfinder Society. Scenario B3, The Wardstone Patrol. A ten hut! Senior Officer Sil Ivian presents, Erebus shouted, originally standing at attention and snapping off a precise salute. The squad responded in time. A middle-aged half-elf with graying temples gave the order to relax. Prelate Harun sends his congratulations on cleansing that enclave of Baphomet worshippers. The intelligence you gathered about the lexicon of paradox helped the crusade, and even as we speak, the best agents Queen Galfrey can muster are being dispatched to track it down. With that said, I didn't come here to deliver congratulations. I have a new assignment for you. Bramorak, goat-like demons who wield flaming swords, are gathered en masse under the banner of one of their own named Shavis. Our patrols have encountered Shavis before, and he's a crafty skirmisher. He knows how to hit our troops hard and fast, and then vanish before retaliation arrives. He's become more active of late, so that makes taking him out a priority. 
I will be accompanying you on this expedition since I have some experience countering the tactics employed by Savash. We move out in five minutes. Dismissed. The, ca- the Cathedral of Sidwell. St. Sidwell sacrificed himself to seal a horde of demons into an inescapable prison. Wounded warriors who have made their own dire sacrifices arrive here each day seeking healing, sanctuary, and sometimes timely resurrections for their comrades. Though legions of demons have claimed vast territories in the world wound, this sacred ground remains undefiled. Empowered by consecration, the cathedral endures as a refuge against the forces of the damnation. The cavern. Getting lost in a subterranean cavern is all too easy. Even if you bought a compass or a wayfinder, your skill at orienteering above ground won't always help when you're exploring the underground. The guard post. Mongols crawl through the tunnels of their hidden civilization. Mutants and madmen patrol subterranean kingdoms like the one beneath the city of Kenebris. The gods have forsaken them, so they must remain vigilant in the darkness. Yet for any who can survive the patrols of corrupted soldiers stalking around the tunnels, a hidden village is ready to accept them. The town that lies beyond this guard post tenaciously endures like the ideals of a lost generation, dreams upheld by the descendants of the crusade nearly forgotten by history. Befouled Altar Baphomet's minions and their malefic cultists weaken the resolve of their enemies by by defiling sacred shrines. Their acts of depravity and exploitation corrupt temples that once offered sanctuary. Enemies of evil have learned that any resource crusaders redeem are still vulnerable to a demonic corruption. Within the world wound, the sacred has become profane, the blessed has become blasphemous, and those who seek divinity have become the damned. Family Tomb. Generations have fought the good fight against demonic incursions. Young heroes aspire to follow in the footsteps of their ancestors, and all too often they die the same way their ancestors died. The Wounded Lands. The weak cannot always follow where the virtuous travel. West of Mendev, the Wounded Land holds the center of the abyssal corruption of this world. Poisonous fumes choke the sky, and a bubbling primordial coagulation rolls on the realms of the Dark Heart. Don't rely too much on your friends and allies to help you here. They have to breathe the same air that you breathe, at least as long as they are still breathing. The Armory Faith and knowledge are powerful weapons, but sometimes all you really want when you're standing against the Horde of Demons is a sharpened blade of cold, hard steel. When enemies prepare for their latest crusade, they siege any weapons they can find. There's no shortage of implements of destruction in this armory, but heroes who scavenge here might walk away with exotic weapons they've never seen before. The Canyon On battlefields, the sanctified and the damned maneuver for position. Marching into a canyon might seem like a useful tactic for defenders besieged by demons, but heroes don't always march back out. The recent attacks of the Wardstones were the cause you find yourself called to Narasen to stand against the demonic hordes. A portion of this responsibility involves patrolling the border in small groups. Your party is assigned to assist the Crusaders of Mendev on a scouting patrol of the World Wounds border. Fort Promalus, one of the border castles protecting the weakening Wardstones, has come under increasing demonic attack in the past few days, and Queen Galfrey wishes to know if the roads between it and the capital are still secure. You are assigned to the decorated veteran named Sir Illavan, a bitter and emotionally distant half-elf who has been fighting the demonic incursions for decades. After resupplying, Illavan sends your team of pathfinders along the West Selen River to an abandoned Medivian village. In the flooded fields at the outskirts of this settlement, you encounter a small band of body-inheriting Valmic demons and captured Mendivian commoners. You must quickly ascertain who are the demons disguised as humans and who are the still-living peasants. You complete the journey to Fort Palmalis after the battle, only to find a larger demonic force has just attacked it, carrying off a number of soldiers as prisoners. Unable to spare any more troops, the garrison's commander pleads with you to immediately follow their trail and save the captured crusaders from a terrible fate. So Illavin accepts the mission, but once at a sight of Fort Pomidus, returns from the trail of the captured soldiers and decides to head south, back towards Nerasan, ordering you to follow. 
He's convinced that the soldiers are already lost and that tracking them down is a suicide mission. After a long controversial discussion, Sir Evans is racked with guilt and remorse for wanting to abandon his fellow crusaders. He feels ashamed by your courage and accompanies you. After a weary travel, you get in sight of the missing soldiers, guarded by a small group of Dretchers and Savash. With a larger force approaching from the north, Ivan volunteers to hold off the reinforcements by himself while you can rescue the soldiers.